Here's my angle. Hi, I love your curly hair. Um, as Thank a you. Curly hair person, you like my angle? Is this a good angle for your interview? <laughs> All is good. You are showing off your glasses, and I'm a former glossy girl. Um, okay. It's nice to meet you. Congratulations on the series. Thank you so much. Hi, Olivia. Um, so Thank I'd you. love to know, what was the process for you guys to get um, cast? And when you were researching to uh, audition, did you read the books or did you just go by what the um, script was set to get? I got an email saying Spider-Man Chronicles is now a television show. And I thought, well, hey, I'm Furbius. I just came to express. <laughs> and I had to be involved. I had to do anything I could do to be a part of that because I grew up loving spider Worker group, reading the book. I read the one book only, I'll be honest with you. I didn't read this whole saga. Even though I talk about the word saga all the time. I only read the first book, saw the movie, loved the movie, informed my whole entire uh, perception of imagination and creativity and, and really educated my, 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 my trajectory for art creation in the future. And uh, truly did. And uh, it's just a such a serendipitous, magical, incredible feeling I feel that I get to be involved in the likes of a picture like this. Thank you. And Olivia? Yes. Um, okay, I remember I got the email for the audition when I was on set, actually. I was on set and I was filming outside and I was in the middle of a middle of a forest and I got the email. Um, and I remember being like, oh my God, they're making Spider-Man into a show. And I remember my co-star on that show was like, they're making Spider-Man into a show. And I was like, no, Spider-Wick. And he was like, oh, what's that? And I was like, you don't know Spider-Wick. And I got so mad at him um, and made him watch it that night with me. Um, so yeah, that, that I went home and I watched the movie again. And then I did the audition the next day. And my audition scenes were so great. And it was this, it was, the, my audition scene was the opening scene in the show um and i'm not gonna say that what that was but it's a really cool scene and yeah. it was two scenes um and then yeah it was it was honestly really fast i was in toronto filming i got the call that i got it i came back to la for two days and then went to vancouver so i was like it was a whirlwind of emotions but um so much fun and i also hate waiting so honestly i feel like it was better in the end that, that i just kind of got thrown into it um so i didn't get to overthink it but yeah that's really so as you guys, it is an amazing story from both of you. Um, I love the fact that you use big words. It's one of my favorite things ever that people do. Um, and um, while you guys were preparing for the role, after you got um, the after you got cast, how did you prepare for the roles? Did you guys reread everything? Did you sort of watch the movie from the early two thousands, or did you sort of? do the whole fandom thing and check out to see what the fandom was saying about uh, spider Wake. All three, I did it all. I did a deep dive. Um, I was like, I was really excited because I love spider Wake and I was really excited to kind of go, um, the, my dogs are barking, sorry about that. It's the joys of doing Zooms. Um, <laughs> anyway, we'll block that out. No, it was really exciting. It was exciting. I did a lot of fan deep diving also, which is funny that you bring that up because I forgot that I did that until right now. Um, I did a lot of, yeah, I did a lot of fan, did a lot of Reddit, um, did a lot of watching of the movie, read the books, did everything I could possibly do. When there's like a background on something that already you kind of want to like do everything you can to be as fully immersed in it as possible, um, which I did. And I love it. Yeah. yeah. And you, Jack? Me too. I did a big vaudeville tour. I went and saw <laughs> Alvin Jolson and Davy and Bobby. And Lockley Bloge at the uh, Holoscope Theater. <laughs> no, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think what I did was I did, I did watch the movie again. And that's pretty much it. And then I, <laughs> I was like, uh, what do you want me to do, guys? What do you think? Why would you cast me in this? What do you want from me? And they said, we just want you to be like you. And I said, that's insane. People in Hollywood hate me. That's amazing that you found me and you wanted me. And they did. And then, and then from there, it was history. And it was a brilliant, brilliant dynamic we all shared. I, I was able to roam and play on a very long leash. It was very, a lot of, um, it just felt like I got to play, like, pretend again in the, in the mirror, in the costume. And, except I was in a sound booth without a costume. Um, uh, but, it, but, but it was the imagination that counted. It was really, truly magical. Thank you so much. I look forward to joining you guys 
on the series watching it on TV. Thank you very Thank much. You so much. Bye.